All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are checking out Right Seed today. Um, they actually reached out to me, asked me to review their software. They are over on AppSumo. We'll go over the pricing here in just a bit, but let's check it out. So what is Right Seed? Right Seed is an AI writer, essentially, but not what we generally review. I would say the competitors to Right Seed are like uh, Word Hero, uh, Writer, and Niches. I'll show you those here. The Word Hero was on AppSumo forever. Um, absolutely not a good software in my opinion. NicheS has been around for ages. It's one of the original AI softwares. Same with Writer. Writer's another one that uh, I've reviewed in the past. But WriteSeed does a lot of different things and they've added some new updates. We're going to check out those new updates today. Some of them are pretty darn cool. Um, and actually, I had no idea they had added these. So let's jump into the account. All right, so here's the dashboard when you log in. Up top, you get your, your dashboard. And here's one of the new things I was talking about, the AI images. They didn't have that before. That's new. Uh, they have custom templates now created text this is just like where your stuff's stored after you create it uh, obviously i've got a few in there posts and ads that's something we'll check out and then they have an, a chrome extension now too which is a neat idea we'll see how well it works though uh so last time i looked at right seed there was no search bar up here so this is a nice upgrade i like this a lot you can sort what you need um, they do seem to be lacking in certain categories, I've noticed, but they have a ton for article and blogs, which is kind of what I like anyways. That's my that's my thing. They have a lot for ad copy. Uh, their social is where it's completely like non-existent really, but again, they do have the custom templates where you can make something. I wouldn't say it's the best kind of custom template building that I've seen, but it's it's better than nothing. So... You got your social tab here. You can do Facebook ads and content and LinkedIn posts. That's really about it. You got the social posts over here. Uh, you'll notice all their post types are kind of generic and the same. That's one thing I'm not a big fan of. You kind of want to mix it up, especially with different things. Social media in general, you want to you want to have a lot of variance in. You got the e-commerce over here. You got your Amazon listings. And again, they look all the same. Basically, the only difference is the back-end prompting. I do like that uh, you get to choose your model on some of these. You don't get to choose your model on all of them. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer on that one. You also don't get to choose your model on the custom templates either. I did make a couple of them. We'll look at those here in just a second. But I want to run through the highlights on the ones they have made already. So under e-commerce... And I'm not really an e-commerce guy, so I'm, I'm probably not the right person to be reviewing this type of stuff here. Uh, but they do seem to have a little bit of everything you need, and then, but nothing really crazy. You got your Zillow listings if you if you sell houses. I wouldn't consider that e-commerce though, but uh, that's just me. Just not qualified to talk about this. I think. <laughs> so there's a lot of options. Uh, the press release is really neat. I, I don't really know how to test that. Honestly, I don't know a whole lot about press releases. Maybe that's why it's keying in on me. Uh, but yeah, so you got your ad copy here. You got your, your writing section. This is what uh, I'm a big fan of here. And then uh, your e-commerce stuff. The social is seriously lacking. E-commerce seems solid, uh, but with my lack of experience in that, I, I can't honestly tell you. I feel like there's some stuff missing, but uh, I, again, I'm not the right person. Uh, the writing, though. So the SEO research and full-length articles, I was not too excited about that before I tested it because Writer, uh, NicheS, and Word Hero all suck at this. They all suck at it, and those are their competitors. WriteSeed, on the other hand, actually spits out some decent articles, which is not, not amazing. They're not quality level at all. Don't get me wrong, but when you're considering this is an unlimited AI deal... That's pretty cool that you can actually create some solid articles with it. They got the SEO research one, and it, it kind of reminds me like a, a generic surfer type setup that they have in there. It's very basic SEO stuff, but it's better than nothing. Pro Writer is kind of how, uh, where you want to like go in and micromanage the thing. They have a little pop-up here, so you just type what you want. Write a 
title for wine tasting 101. So you highlight it here. You got some commands down here. They're kind of all over the place. That's something I'll say. Uh, you got some commands over here, suggestions, and then you have, which is kind of cool. See how it already kind of answers it. And then you have your stuff up here. You got your expand, rewrite, and let AI write. So let AI write when you highlight it. And bam, we got a title. All right, so introduction for article titled Sip, Swirl, and Savor Wine Tasting 101. Let's see, let's see what it does. Now, keep in mind, I could be using this completely wrong, uh, but I just wanted to sit, show you kind of a quick example of what you could do with this type of an, uh, a system. And so you could really kind of micromanage what you want and then basically just have the AI be your, your ghost writer, essentially. The editor itself is pretty basic. Oops. Ooh, that didn't work out very well at all. Okay, so it changes everything. Uh. Wow. Yeah, they need to fix that. That's a pretty big bug, I would say. That almost makes it unusable. Oh, uh, and I forgot, you have your model up here as well. They don't have the Claude and stuff in here, which kind of sucks. I would like to have all the models in the Pro Rider. But as of right now, with without this being adjustable up here, this is completely broken. So if you change it to header one, it changes everything. Uh, yeah, kind of defeats the whole purpose of having an editor, in my opinion. So, but what you could do is you can you can put it in Markdown as a workaround. So when you do copy it and paste it somewhere, you're good to go. Anyways, uh, not a huge fan of that personally. That's not my style of AI writing, but it is pretty cool. Some people will like that, especially people that uh, probably write books, I can imagine would love that. Then you got your essay writer. If you're in school and you want to cheat, keep in mind they <laughs> they are catching people with this. My daughter's in high school now and she's already getting classmates caught all over the place with this stuff so be careful with that you got your paraphrasing and rewriting this one's really cool um when i tested it though it didn't quite no i tested the humanized one so there's a bug with the humanized text so when you paste in a bunch of stuff here i'll just show you let me go copy it let's go to the created text here i got a uh a 1700 word article here we'll look through that and it looks pretty good it's a solid article look at that this reminds me a lot of their other software uh wp autoblog so we'll go ahead and copy this and then we're going to take it to the humanized text i'm going to show you exactly my problem here so we got that copied it over then we're going to humanize it see how it cuts off here so while cool also completely useless you could probably use smaller amounts of text and get it done that way. So let's erase everything. Boom. So this is just the extremely long intro, which by the way, intro should never be that long. That is crazy. Okay. So yeah, do a section at a time and humanized text seems to work. I had the same issue with paraphrasing or paraphrasing and rewriting, which is extremely annoying because when you do that, you're basically wanting to rewrite an entire article. So if it doesn't do that, then it defeats the whole purpose of it, in my opinion. All right, so we're going from 1,800 words. Okay, it actually looks like it did it this time. So let's go ahead and select all. Word counter. Okay, so it cut, it cut the content in half. It cut the content in half. You lost all of your... Yeah, I see the problem. Okay, see, it's got the key takeaways here. And so it's running out of context window. They got a context limit here, and that's what's causing the problem. Uh, you also can't select your, your models on this one. Yeah, not super useful in my opinion. But again, to get around the context window, you could just enter in a section at a time. That would do the trick. Uh, spelling and grammar, that's another one good for school people. Um, ooh, here we go. You got the semantic NLP writer. All right. So enter in a keyword. So let's go wine tasting 101. Oh, okay. So basically it just gives you the keywords you need to put into the article. Does it? Okay. 
Uh, the only problem I see with this is there's no longer the AI built in. <laughs> I feel like they missed here. So what they should do is mix this with the pro writer mode here. That would be that would be huge if they can do that. That would be super cool for SEO, especially for people that still write their own content, for the most part at least. I think everybody basically is AI assisted at this point at the very least because it's just so convenient. Uh, and it does speed up the process by, yeah, untold amounts. So, and that's just a, a quick tab to the custom templates, which I'll we'll look at here in just a second. I've actually made a couple of them that are pretty decent. Memo, useless, okay, personal bio. That's cool if you don't know anything about yourself, I guess. Uh, if you want some jokes. Most of this stuff I wouldn't say is super useful. Website copy. Okay, that's very vague. Now, the highlights for me are the batch article creator and the WordPress post scheduler. So those two are really cool. Um, I tried to use the WordPress press post scheduler. I couldn't connect my website. Uh, the one that the public website winds uncover. It wouldn't connect to it. I do have a uh, custom URL for the login page for security purposes. So that's probably why. Uh, that being said, it wasn't worth me to go around and check that just to get auto uploads. But I can imagine it works the exact same way as WP Auto Blog, which does work pretty solid. So if it's if it's basically the same thing, which is it's what it looks like. Here, I'll show you. All right, so here's a side-by-side. -side. This is Right Seed, and this is WP Auto Blog. Like it's almost exactly the same. You could almost just buy Right Seed and use that instead of WP Auto Blog. So while I like the UI UI of WP Auto Blog, it seems to be kind of redundant, which I didn't know. Uh, it's it's a nice little surprise. Anyways, so that's cool. Uh, and as you can see, I've used that one on WP Auto Blog. And if it works the exact same way, then well, it does work. So uh, all you do is enter in a list of keywords. Uh, here, let's generate some keywords. So we got our 10 keywords here. Boom. Like so, voila. And we'll just use the example one. We'll we want to post one every three hours. And you got a lot of options down here. Three hours, six hours, 12 hours every day, every two days, every three days, every four days, every week. But the longest they have is a week, which is probably good for 99% of people. All right, so let's go ahead and schedule those and see what we got here. So we got every three hours, boom. And then this is just a queue system looks like. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. They don't have the options of WP Auto Blog down here. That's one big difference here. So WP Auto Blog, you have all these extras included. So that's missing. That's missing. <laughs> that's missing in Right Seed. I can imagine they're probably gonna add it in eventually though. So it is still pretty cool. And then the other one is the batch article creator. We're gonna do the same thing here, see what this does. This probably just writes them all right now. So articles are in process. We'll come back to this here in a second. Now, the, there's a lot of little things like blog post conclusion and blog post intros, uh, listicle topics, stuff like that. These are just different blog styles, I believe. Uh, I, I tried the how-to one, wasn't super impressed with it. So let's go into the actual cool stuff. So let's come up here to the top tab. Those are just their templates they got going on. You can make your own custom templates right here, in which I did. So it's very basic. You don't have a whole lot of control over it, but you basically just have your general idea here up top. So whatever it is, and then you have your you, what you want it to do down here. And then this is gonna be your actual prompt that you're entering in for what you want it to generate. So if you're having it generate images, you'd put cat with a hat here, and then you put uh, something up here like uh, generate image prompt. And down here, you'd guide that image prompt generation with this one here. At least that's the way I did it, and it seemed to work. So we got this here, and we'll do a, a troll under a bridge, and it should pop up a prompt that we can use in the image generator. Here we go. There's the prompt. Back to dashboard, go over to AI images, and now we're gonna test this as well. So create image. This is Flux, it's actually brand new. 
So it's pretty cool that they have the latest models. And that's not a bad picture. Flux is uh, pretty inconsistent in general. I did one with Goblin with a sword earlier with using that same generator. Uh, and that turned out fantastic, actually. And then the other one that I created, the custom templates, was a short story generator. And that turned out pretty good, too. I actually made a video uh, with another software I have, uh, Smart Short. All I did was enter in the script, and it created the Once video. upon a time, so in a lush... So I can't show you with... What I could do is Once upon just a time, pop it up here, a lush green forest, and that's what it looks like. lived a mischievous goblin named Grumble. It was neat. Grumble had always dreamed of all I did was put in the script, the bridge, and but there was one problem: uh, the a grumpy Short old troll named Thud this is not already lived there. Right one sunny morning, Fair Grumble one. decided is, that enough right was enough. Did he was tired of living in a cramped cave from, and wanted to claim the bridge as his own. Did write the story from the custom template that I made. So pretty neat, and then it saves your your texts over here. Now, one thing that I've noticed it doesn't do is it doesn't save your images. There's no image library at all. Uh, so that's a huge miss. There really should be. So there's nowhere to save those. So you're just generating them. And then if you don't download them right away, they disappear. Uh, next up is the social media posts and ads. This thing is disappointing. I, I mean, this is almost pointless, I would say. There's only one style and it generates just six different styles of the same thing. There's no variance in size. There's no variance for different social medias. In my opinion, this is a huge miss. Uh, I, I don't know why they even have this in here. It's, it's that poor. They gotta change that. So let's head over to the Chrome extension. They have a Chrome extension, which is a great idea for something like this. But in my opinion, these guys are right down here. There, it was a great idea that was completely missed. So. You download the the extension here, and then you come over here, click here, and it gives you kind of chat GPT in here on the web page, which is cool. So you can ask it to generate an image prompt for a goblin with a sword. All right. Um, <laughs> they're obviously using a very low quality uh, AI here. I'd be surprised if they're even using 4.0 Mini at this point. What is this? Uh, this is probably an open source AI, if I had to guess, and not a not a good one, not not Llama three, because that was a very that's a response I would have gotten a year and a half ago from the old AI. Uh, so I would not be surprised if they're using like a like I don't I don't even know like a Mistral maybe. Uh, so probably to save on money, which makes sense, but still. So let's see what it came up with. Oh, uh, how do we close this? Close that down. All right, and. Great image. So you could use it like that. Basically brings in a chat GPT like AI on, on your thing. See, the big big problem is when you click here. Okay, so it is open AI, apparently. Uh, anyways, so they're probably using GPT for many. I, I don't know. It doesn't feel like it. That's pretty stupid in my opinion, but whatever. Yeah, so it doesn't have, it can't see the screen here. You can't adjust the model you're using. Um, you can't upload any images. It doesn't have vision. It doesn't have anything. It's missing a lot. So this is just a chat extension, which there are tons of other versions like Harpa that you can use for free. Uh, that's That would be my recommendation. And then there's Voila if you want to pay for a good solid one. Uh, those are good options that would be way better than this one. Right C needs to step up their game on their extension for sure. But that prompt worked decent. That was okay. Not exactly what I asked for, but it was okay. So let's jump and see what we've or on what we've uh, had created here. Let's go check. <laughs> All right, let's go check out what we've already created. So we got an article there. We got the hidden gems over here. Okay. You know, so it 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 does decent on the writing of articles. It does. It's missing the options is the problem. These are the articles we did in the bulk generator, by the way, those five. Um, so it's adding, it looks like it adds pictures to one or two of them, and then it just doesn't have, add anything to the others. Okay, so it does add, looks like it adds one to the top. Okay. Not bad, though. Not bad at all. I mean, what, what are we averaging here? Um... 
So 1,500 word article, not bad. And we we did no work for it, so keep that in mind. Oh, it tells us right here. Okay, so perfect match. Yep. So I'm not going to say you're going to you're going to make a ton of money from SEO from this, but if you just need to fill up a website uh, with some decent content, that's not going to be a complete embarrassment. Uh, this is this is a good solid choice, and it's it. Did I mention it's unlimited? So <laughs> so that's a big one. Uh, here's that story I was talking about from that video. It's actually a pretty decent story. I was pretty impressed with it considering. It took me, I don't know, a minute to design that prompt or that custom template and then another minute for it to generate. It wasn't even a minute. It was 30 seconds for it to generate. Yeah, so it was pretty good. Not bad. So since the last time I seen Right Seed, uh, I would say it's improved massively. The images are really cool. Uh, the things they're missing overall is uh, an image library. I think that's a huge miss. Uh, they need a lot more controls on the custom templates. I'd like to be able to choose the model as well. That's a huge one. And then, uh, honestly, if you're going to have an extension, make it useful at the very least. At the very least, it should have the ability to see the web page you're on. At the very least, have a toggle option. See where voila has this little option here where it pulls in the page content. Another thing Voila has, which would be a good compromise too, is you could highlight everything on here and then go to Voila and see how it pulls it in down here. What is this page about? See, it, it sees everything and it lists everything in here, all the important stuff. So that's, that's how the extension for for right seed should work and at the very least it should do that it should be able to highlight this and then click here well it's actually gone now apparently it's not even active on this one okay so let's there we go so now it's popped back up so yeah see it's what It's going to say open AI. Okay, so there we go. They are using GPT-3, which is the, I believe it's the last open source model. So if I had to guess, that's the last open source model. So that's why it looks, that's why it's so bad. <laughs> so uh, they're using a, a poor model on the extension. They don't have the extras on the extension. You can't upload text. You can't upload documents. You can't have it see the web page. You can't have it see what you have highlighted, nothing. So the extension is cool, but overall fairly useless compared to pretty much any other option, including free ones. Uh, anyway, so let's go over the prices. The things I do like about this is it's unlimited words. Like there's, you can go and go to town on articles, websites, whatever, you name it. You can, you can go to town on this for as little as 88 bucks. I mean, you can't beat that price. You can't beat that price with any AI writer. Uh, so, like, that's that's great. Now, what they did add in the next plans, if you add a couple more codes, is you now get AI images. And honestly, I think Plan B or Plan Plan B. <laughs> I think Plan uh, Three is perfectly fine. Most people don't use 300 images in a month. Uh, it's quite a bit, and it's flux, so it's a it's good quality images too. It's, so it's not like it's crappy images. But if you think you're going to be generating images like crazy, or you're running a t-shirt business, you want to make different designs pretty much all the time, you could do that with Plan Four. Uh, you get unlimited images, you get unlimited WordPress connections, unlimited content, unlimited ideas, unlimited custom templates. For the money, you can't beat the deal. It is a good deal. Uh, I don't think anyone can argue that this is a good deal. Is it the highest tech AI software I've ever seen? No, not even close. Like it's not even close. It doesn't even, it's not even in the conversation as far as the best uh, AI writers I've seen. But it is cheap. It's unlimited. It has AI images. It has custom templates. It has all the intangibles to be good. And they have been constantly updating it for you 
at least a year now. Uh, I've, I've been aware of them for at least a year now. So not bad. Uh, like, I'm, I'm pretty glad that they reached out to me. It was, this is a cool software. I, I'm glad I got to check it out again. Uh, this is not the first time I've used it. It's I've used uh, a buddy of my accounts on it, and I, I wasn't impressed with it a year ago when I used it. Um, it's definitely a lot better now, though. Uh, so and they didn't have the extension back then either. They didn't have the custom templates. They didn't have the search bar. Like, it was just a list of junk. Um, it looked a lot like niche S, uh, over here where it was just like this, it was just overwhelming. I don't recommend niche S either, by the way, or writer, um, not anymore of word hero, niche S writer and right seed, right seed is the best one. In my opinion, it's also the best deal. Uh, in my opinion, the only one that might give it a run for its money on the deal is niche s and that's just because their monthly is like nine dollars a month and they add they have videos that's it that's the only thing that they also have a lot more templates so yeah uh, it's it's cheap too it's i don't even remember what price it, it was it was so cheap right seed is a very solid software very good pickup i wouldn't say it's a five taco i would definitely say it's at least a four taco for the deal though uh you can't beat unlimited ai uh, words you can't beat the fact that it's got NLP stuff in there, so you can you can actually fairly optimize it. It's not gonna like do great or anything. It's not Surfer, but it's it's a good alternative if you if you just want to pay one price for a little bit of everything. Yeah, not bad. I don't know if I'll use it, but uh, I could definitely see using it if I didn't have everything I had. <laughs> so, uh, anyways. Thank you, Right Seed, for the opportunity to review your software. Uh, if you guys like this, uh, leave a like on the video. If you have any questions or comments or uh, really anything about Right Seed, uh, drop a comment down below. Uh, I will get to it and uh, let you know what I think. The links for Right Seed will be in the description. Go check those out. I am not an affiliate. I don't plan on being an affiliate, but I do like the product. I will leave a link for the website and I'll leave a link for the AppSumo deal. So hopefully it's still going on by the time you click it. And yeah, go check it out. I mean, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.